Three days till the solar eclipse. Some folks on the mainland will get to see the full eclipse. Here in Hawaii, though, it'll only be partial, so lots of people are excited. After all, it doesn't happen too often. Alexander Zanes joins us with more on what you need to know. Alexander. Marissa, it will be an early morning partial eclipse Monday here in Hawaii, but on the mainland, it will be the first total solar eclipse over the U.S. since 1979. The sun is going to rise around roughly 615 already in eclipse, maybe a quarter of the sun blocked by the moon already as it comes up. If you want to catch a glimpse of the partial eclipse on Monday, it's going to be an early one. And it's actually very fascinating to see that the sun is not looking like normal, but you you can actually see half of it being occulted by the by the moon. Uh, but this is nothing against the actual experience of a full solar eclipse when when it's uh, pitch dark, when the when the birds are stopping to sing, when the when the whole nature is kind of getting an eerie, um, uh, spooky <laughs> uh, appearance. The solar event will begin in Hawaii at 6.15 and last until 7.22. On the mainland, however, people will be able to see the total eclipse from Oregon to South Carolina. Some of those people include a team of University of Hawaii researchers who have five sites set up to document and study the eclipse. And they, she has um, cameras and spectrometers and so on, so uh, that will be a unique possibility to measure the the, the solar eclipse and the uh, corona around the sun. To witness the event when you're, you're going from full daylight to, to nighttime over, well, it happens over an hour, but the last bit is very, very quick, and all of a sudden you're immersed in darkness and you see this bright corona shimmering in the sky is something very, very unique. And if you're looking for a safe way to view the partial eclipse, solar eclipse glasses, they're one way, but Bishop Museum is already sold out. We'll have a live stream of the eclipse on Monday morning on our website, khon2.com. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News. Well, unfortunately, weather conditions this weekend do not look good for that partial viewing of the solar eclipse, for the islands at least. To the east of the state, we have this, storm remnants that are moving towards the islands. This was once tropical storm Hova, and those storm remnants arrive Sunday and will linger over the islands through Tuesday. That's going to bring a boost in clouds and showers, and essentially, we are looking at the wettest days of the month so far, which is good because the majority of the state has been dry, but not the best views of the sun during the eclipse. Clouds could be covering up to 70% of the sky, and rain chances are up high as well, 60 to 70% chance of rain. Hopefully, we'll get a break in the clouds. Marissa, back to you.